Hi everyone. This instructional video is for those who wish to impress someone. Doing flips is truly impressive. For those who enjoy speedrunning, knowing how to do flips is very useful, especially during strategies like this one in Aztec. So, the first flip I'm going to teach you is the famous perfect backflip. In my opinion, this is the most difficult but the best of them all because it is very, very satisfying. It's the most impressive to do and it's also my favorite. First of all, what I recommend you do is go to your settings and set the camera sensitivity to maximum. Why do I say this? Because when you do a flip, the faster you can move the camera up, the easier it will be to do a backflip, front flip, or whatever. So, it's always important to have your sensitivity at maximum. Another important thing is which option is better for doing flips, relative or follow stick. The follow stick is good for those who are used to it, because the follow stick has something that the relative doesn't. The camera always stays centered. And why is this good? When we do a backflip, for example, we have to move the camera up and then down again, and the follow stick does this automatically. So when you do a backflip and move the camera up, you need to move it down again. But with the follow stick, the camera moves down automatically if you release the joystick. But for doing flips, if you use the relative, you don't have this fixed camera, allowing you to make the correct camera movements by yourself. You can also do this with the follow stick, but it will be a bit more difficult because the camera tends to return to the center point. Conclusion, both are good for doing flips. If you like to have the camera more free, use relative, otherwise, use the follow stick. I'll use relative because I like to do the flip with a freer camera. First, you need to learn to make this movement with your arms stretched out. You will point the camera upwards and walk a bit. Why do we need to do this? Because this initial movement helps us to do the backflip. If we're standing still, we won't be able to do it. When walking, you'll have to move the camera down with your arms stretched out. Why? To create a motion that helps us complete the backflip. So when you move the camera down, you'll see yourself in this position, which will create some momentum for the next step. When you move the camera down, you need to stay in this position, creating a movement that helps with the backflip. If you don't do this correctly, you probably won't be able to perform the next step or you might end up grabbing the ground with your hands. Then you briefly release your joystick or key. This gives you more momentum going backwards. At that same moment, you move backwards while raising the camera. This is why I said you should increase your sensitivity. Without it, you won't be fast enough to raise the camera. When raising the camera, do it as quickly as possible. And when you reach the top or as high as you can, move it down again. This creates the momentum needed to complete the backflip. And after that, you'll jump when you start moving the camera down. When you jump backward, quickly release your hands and then go forward again. That's how it's done. Of course, this isn't easy, and you probably won't get it right on the first few tries, but you need to be precise because it requires the right timing. A tip is that the lower you move the camera initially, the easier and more perfect the backflip will be. So focus on the beginning and the end when you propel yourself backward. And that's how you do a perfect backflip, much better than a sideways backflip, right? Now let's move on to the front flip. This is probably the most well-known flip, and it's easier to do than a backflip, because you can't move forward, you simply have to stand still. If you move forward, there won't be enough momentum to complete the front flip. This flip is simpler because all you need to do is stand still. Then, you stretch out your arms and point the camera up as high as possible. As I mentioned before, for both the back flip and the front flip, you need to have the sensitivity at maximum, otherwise it won't work. When you have the camera pointed upward, simply move it down quickly. When the camera is about halfway down, jump forward, release your hands and keep moving the camera down. Then, Use your joystick to move backward. This will create more momentum and make your front flip perfect. So, by doing it this way, you can do it correctly and achieve a perfect front flip. Now let's move on to the next and last, the side flip. 
This flip is quite uncommon and not very well known, but it's one of the best as well because it's often used during a speed run or when doing flips with the speed glitch. To do this flip, there are many ways. I'm going to show you two methods. The first method is the most famous because many people usually do it, and it's exactly the same as the backflip. The only difference is that when you move the joystick, instead of going backward, you go to the side. This will allow you to do a side flip. You can also move the camera to the side, and then back to the front, and move the joystick to the reverse side. This will create momentum and allow you to return to the starting position to do another side flip. This way you can do this flip infinitely. This side flip is executed backwards. Now let's execute it forwards. To do this you will do exactly the same thing as you did for the front flip. But instead of going forward, you go slightly to the side. And after you lean to the side, use the joystick to lean to the opposite side again to create momentum. If you don't do this, you won't be able to do the side flip. This will allow you to do a side flip as well. So these were the three hardest flips that a normal human can do. As you can see, it's not that difficult. You just need to practice. Once you know how to do these three, you'll be able to do any flip, as these three provide a foundation for doing flips during a speed run. Now that we have learned, Let's impress other humans.